Yeah, what do you want? Your choice.
got something on your mind, do well, I suppose I could whip up something, uh, you know, a few herbs and such. You do know that the best alternative is not to get hurt, right? Well, not to say that you go leaping into the path of blaster fire or anything, but I know how you young people get. Here, take it. Got something on your mind, do how many could you possibly need? And besides, I don't have enough supplies on me to put some more together. Ask me later when you're actually in need and I'm less tired. I'm not a kit factory, you know. Got something on your mind, do you? Oh, I know plenty about Kashik. You think someone doesn't live here for 20 years and pick up a thing or two? Chances are, by the time I finish telling you about it all, you would have found out for yourself. So there's no reason for me to start blathering on. It should be enough for me to tell you that there's kilometer after kilometer of trees on this planet. The deeper you go, the more dangerous it gets. If you're smart, you stay on top with the Wookiees. You go deep, however, and you may find some things you weren't expecting. And that's about all I got to say about that. Now, let's get going. Oh, I get it. Let's play with the old man's head, is it? He's half senile. He'll forget I said anything. Wait, well, uh, what was this about anyway? Got something up. Oh, I get it. of assistance to you, Padawan. What is it you would like to speak to me about? I have told you my life story already. What more could you possibly want to know? Well, there is one thing. I did not want to mention it before, because I was unsure how you would react. Do you remember when I told you of the Jedi who had come to my world to fight the Mandalorians? They were recruiting soldiers for their crusade against the Mandalores. Many people joined them. The main reason for that was their charismatic leader, the one whose troops freed me and let me dream of seeking out and joining the Jedi Order. I was hesitant to talk to you about this because, well, The Jedi had come to fight the Mandalores, under the leadership of a powerful young Jedi, a Jedi named Revan. THE Revan, the Jedi who turned to the dark side, became the Dark Lord of the Sith, and was defeated by Bastila and her strike team. I do not know what happened in the wars with the Mandalorians that turned Revan and Malak, or what they sought with these star maps, but the Jedi I knew was a paragon of the Order. I am sorry if this seems wrong to you, but to understand, you must realize that Revan was as great as a Jedi could be. Whatever turned Revan must be terrible indeed. I wonder 
if what we find at the end of our journey will turn us as well. This is meaningless speculation, I guess. I just wanted you to know what I held from you. But rest assured that I will not hold back. If our enemy is Malak, Revan's apprentice, or indeed, even if it was Revan, I will help you through all trouble. Such is the will of the Council. And my own. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? What is it you would like to speak to me about? Of course. How can I help? Then I suggest... Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Karath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend. Is it you? Got something on your mind? You got yourself a fast little ship? <laughs> I forgot what engine sounded like. The closest thing to that on Kashik is an uller in mating season. Oh, frightful. Or it could be for the free food. What's the gunk that comes out of the synthesizer on this bucket anyway? Do you never clean the darn thing? I'm old, damn it. I'm allowed to be enigmatic when I want to be. And don't you go telling me otherwise. You know, you remind me of someone else I knew ages ago. Pleasant enough fellow, great destiny, all of that. Breath like a panther. No, but it could be. An Anduvian salt tablet would clear that right up, you know. Anyway, uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Andor Vex was his name. The Force swirled around him like a hurricane. That's how great his destiny was. Well, it's not so much a hurricane as a slight breeze. But that doesn't mean anything. Destiny is sometimes in the eye of the beholder. Well, it turned out that poor Andor believed a wee bit too much in the infallibility of that destiny. That overconfidence turned out to be his downfall. I am not. I've no need to make things up. With my poor memory and all. You just sit still and let me finish, damn it. Let's see. Oh yes, Andor's downfall. I was pretty young myself when it happened. At the time, I thought that Andor's destiny couldn't be more boring. Well, 
Let's just say that I was a strapping young lad with a full head of hair, and Coruscant was a small town with a will. <laughs> I was just about to abandon Andor to whatever the Force intended for him when his ship was overtaken by a Dimian warship. Now, you've probably never heard of the Dimians, but at the time, they were a nasty lot led by a nastier overlord named Krat. Tall fellow, big teeth. Krat has us hauled onto the bridge of his ship for questioning, and that's when I knew that Andor's destiny was at hand. Swirling force, remember? Jedi here. Granted, I was just interpreting the signs, but we get trained in that sort of thing, more or less. Well, Andor decides that his destiny makes him invulnerable and starts making all sorts of demands. Free me now. I'm not answering questions. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you know who I am? Yeah. Krat decides he's had enough and begins crushing Andor's neck. I told the boy he should have kept his mouth shut. I think he agreed, too, or this could have just been gurgling noises. Well, well anyway. Finally, Grant has enough of Andor and tosses him aside into this giant energy intake shaft. Andor gets sucked in and starts bouncing around, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> Maybe Andor hit something sensitive on the way down, or just didn't agree with the reactor core. Next thing I know, all the ship's alarms are ringing. Everyone panics, and I run, barely making it to the ship in time before the explosion. Krat dies horribly, and the Dimians never quite recovered. Changed the political course of the entire sector for centuries to come. I'd call that quite a destiny, wouldn't you? Well, now that's the ingratitude of youth for you. I relate an exciting tale, and do I get thanked for it? No! No, it's all me, me, me. Uh, anyway, go on. My throat is dry and you're making me cranky. Shoo! Got something on your mind, dude? Oh, I get it. Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. Hey there. Sorry.